means that Engineer and Slither are free farming no problem up top. Now, just noticing this, it is eight minutes into the game. I guess I didn't look at it quite close enough early on, but there are no fresh wards out there whatsoever, and no... These slither wards do not count for anyone keeping counts. Uh, does look like bad news for Glaces getting picked up in the forest in that lower quadrant. As I said, a lot of Hellborn were just hanging out there, and Glaces unfortunately looks like uh, ran headlong right into them. A new winged courier picked up here for that Hellborn team. So whatever was, whoever killed the other one, uh, I guess had to pay for the new one. But they have a courier back up and running, no problem. I mean, why wouldn't you? Really, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Whew, all right, 6-4 now, nine minutes into this game. SK versus, you know, uh, Milk Fat and Friends. And Nighthound is really not doing super bad against this Repulsor. He has picked up one kill, now has his bottle, now has at least a pair of boots. Uh, but, you know, Dr. Repulsor, Steam Boots, of course, his ultimate. It's going to just have him zip-zigging around town, no problem. Very hard to keep on top of him, but Nighthound is doing his best. And it looks like, you know, a little bit of a re return favor down south. Three heroes beating up that Hellbringer who was caught in the forest as well because, as you know, as I s talk about all of that, does look like Ward of Sight going out for that Hellborn team. And Nighthound trying to pick up a kill here on Dr. Repulsor. Just not going to be able to do it. Might see him here, but that's a little too far to jump, so that should be Okay, and look at the look at the fight up here. Engineer so low on health compared to that Valkyrie, who I think was just using her bottle to, you know, come right back up. But Nighthound might actually be able to jump in here on Engineer, who I think knew that there was a Nighthound coming, because he just kegged himself right out of range of that. So effectively, you know, saving his life. Uh, I guess Nighthound is taking the scenic route in behind uh, enemy lines there. Uh, but no, there's no one hiding there. You're, you're okay. Go back to your lane. Yada, yada, yada. Who has come to the mid? Witch Slayer has come mid in the absence of Nighthound, who uh, I can only assume is going to be roaming at this point. I mean, it's a permanent MIA call for anyone against a Nighthound. You can pop up anywhere, which means typically in my games, he's standing right beside me laughing at me, and then he kills me. Uh, but hey, check that out. Ward of Revelation in the mid. So this is going to become a very bad lane for you, Mr. Nighthound. But he is being chased, or he is chasing Dr. Repulsor. Guts jumps right in there with a Magmus. And Magmus going to be trying. No, he's going to be dying as we have all the support coming in now from the Legion side. That chariot is going to be missing everything. And how can they see him? Did somebody use a dust? Do, do, do. Dust, dust, dust. Because Nighthound just died a horrible, horrible death as he was basically gangbanged by all five heroes. I don't see dust anywhere, so I don't know how they saw him, but they saw him. No worries. This engineer with a blood chalice, you know, getting all that health back after sacrificing it for the mana. But hey, keg stands, gets you the kills. No worries. So we have basically this entire Legion team in the mid to lower quadrant of this map. But hey, look at this. Glacius down south, free farming, no problem. Ward of Sight there to help out a little bit. As we do have three heroes now mid, I can only see him. Nighthound's going to be coming mid. Uh, looks like he's going to walk. Does not even have a homecoming stone. To counter that, though, Valkyrie has been up top, free farming herself. So it kind of works out in both ways. Uh, Gladiator is jungling. I hope he lives, but geez, that's a lot of damage. Pitfall victims fly into the air, and that whip is uh, a lot of damage. So, already doing very well in the money department. Mr. Gladiator himself is really the top, uh, the top earner right now. He's 420 experience a minute, 340 gold a minute, and has spent nearly 5,000 gold you know, 12 minutes into the game. That That's an impressive number. Uh, 12 into even 6,000 gold, that's 500 gold a minute, which is pretty hefty. I mean, that's almost what he's at. He's at 425. A lot of mid-pressure coming in here from this Hellborn team, as I suppose they want this tower kill. So Clan Milk, just as they did in game number one, going for early tower pushing, early pressure, and I think just they really want to end the game early. So in comes a Chariot. Uh, caught three heroes there. Dr. Repulsor coming in there using his uh, repel and attract and all that into 
that Magmus, out comes Malphys, out goes the Engineer ult, catching almost everyone, but it looks like Glacius and Repulsor both went down. I think there was a silver bullet to the face there at one point. I definitely saw that cooldown go off, and it looks like Magmus, the rock man himself, has gone down as well. So a 2-1 exchange for that milk team, but hello, hello, there's a... Nighthound in the house, and he's going to be jumping right in on that Engineer, no problem. Engineer going down to Brown, who is Malphys, so Malphys ult coming out, no problem. Now they're chasing down that Slither, he is going to be in a world of hurt, no problem. Nighthound picking that up, easy, easy. So now we have Milk in the lead, 10-9, but they're still behind in experience and gold. Did Repulsor did not buy back, I do not believe, because Glacius is here as well. So they just respawned and came back mid, but they definitely lost that fight, even at the tower. Tower going down to 300 hit points, more or less. And overall, a lot of pressure. So Milk might have the hero composition this time to try ending these games faster, uh, you know, in order to not let really the late game come into play. Swindle Melons hasn't disconnected this game yet, which is always a good sign. Um, but he's been saying FML quite a bit. Don't know. Don't know. Still's only sing sitting on single boots. Uh, picked up bolstering armband. I guess the FML kind of means that he forgot his last piece of that steam boots he's creating, which might indeed mind the FML. Down goes mid tower? Down goes the Hellborn mid-tower to this SK team. Valkyrie getting a nice 4.5 second arrow stun here on Repulsor. He goes down, no problem. Gangbang by 3 of the Hellborn. Now Slither could be in a world of hurt, as indeed we do have Magmus going down. Kegstan missing. Uh, wouldn't have hurt him really too much. Anyways, Hellbringer coming out, getting caught in this Magma, uh, sorry, in this Glacius ult, but Glacius goes down for his efforts. And now Witch Slayer is also in a world of hurt now, but it does look like that's almost... Wow, that is almost a genocide for SK. They totally, totally lost that fight. As who was the only one alive? The only one alive right now is that Gladiator working on that bottom tower. Listen to Tobacco. Oh, well, there's your there's your problem. Don't listen to Tobacco. <laughs> but Gladiator taking out the bottom tower, but this Hellborn team is able to take out mid tower. And really, if you had to do a swap, I would gladly take a mid tower over a bottom tower any day of the week, especially since this Milk team so far has now swung the pendulum into their court. They are now up in experience, and they really have no answer yet to this Nighthound. Nighthound does indeed look like he finished off his steam boots. How do they keep seeing him? I have to assume someone has dust. Who has dust? I don't know. But they see him somehow, so... <clears throat> There's no ward. I don't see a ward. Ah, who knows. Whatever. Uh, Valkyrie, I think, used her ult there. Nope. That's just... Why are my textures screwing over? Because that does not look like the Valkyrie we all know and love. Uh, patch 1.0.10. You had to come out tonight, didn't you? It's only her, too. Everyone else looks fine. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm stuck with her like that. Ugh, that's going to be annoying. Well, the big wandering gray thing is Valkyrie. So, there you go. Heads up for you. We have, I guess, an encounter trying to be started up here. By trying, I mean getting started up. It looks like they want to go in here on Dr. Repulsor. Slither is going down, down, down. He's going to go down. No problem. Gets off his ult, though, which is really good for uh, this Legion team because that Nighthound is going to be taking a lot of damage. Engineer going down to that Magmas ult. Uh, even putting out that gun does not look like... Oh, there he goes, that poison bringing up a double tap, so three for three exchange. Gladiator is nice and full health. There is a Valkyrie and a, and a Milk Fat, and a Magmus still here. He's being played by Milk Fat, so, man, it's almost true. But Gladiator, does he have... He has a Power Supply, Steam Staff. He doesn't have Life Steal, so... He's just kind of really tanky at this point. 1,800 hit points. We're only 17 minutes into the game, but at the same time, he just could not defend against this Valkyrie Magmus combo. That tower goes down just before Dr. Repulsor can get the kill on that Magmus. Now in a lot of trouble. Another second stun going off and trying just to take these guys down as best he can. Dr. Repulsor, now you have to be invisible. Are you invisible? Now you're invisible. 
and now your character model has reset. Fine, great. Magmus uh, still alive somehow, but uh, does not. I can't really say the same for this gladiator. He is going down. I have to really say, but look how tanky he is, just taking down so much damage and still alive. Now he's invisible. Oh, he just finished up an assassin shroud, but uh, I don't think Nighthound really cares. Nighthound getting pulled back by the attraction right into the glaciers. Oh, gets hit by the pitfall. So low on hit points, but does not matter. Gladiator going down to some kind of dot from somewhere. Magmus is still alive. How? How is Magma still alive? Nighthound still alive as well. He goes down to the poison dots. Uh, these wards set up by this Slither just doing so well. So that's two or two kills in a row on that Nighthound. Really bringing down his farm. Down 182 gold a minute. And he's only level 11. Level 14 Gladiator. Definitely taking the cake. Uh, he's also dead at this time. I guess Repulsor and Engineer went down again at some point as well. Overall, though, uh, we're seeing quite the change in pace as that pendulum has now also swung the gold into Team Milk's favor. So experience and gold are definitely uh, coming out very nice for this Hellborn team, which kind of indicating if at the at the rate we're going, we're going to be having a Team Three tiebreaker between these two teams. Whew! It's a lot of talking. Talk, talk, talk. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we are now sitting at 2013. Uh, the big advantage going to Clan Milk right now. And let's just t talk some stats very quickly. <clears throat> let's uh, <clears throat> clear the phlegm out of all the throat. And uh, as I try to talk stats, it looks like Valkyrie is going to use her images to scout, so I'm not going to concerned about that. Top kills of the game right now going to Engineer. Five kills on that Legion team and at the same time we got Valkyrie with five of her own and Hellbringer with five of his own. <clears throat> so a lot of people tied right now for top kills. So yeah, just I mean it's, it's a very high kill game. We're at 33 kills in 20 minutes. I mean, anything faster, we're going to be starting hitting that two kills a minute mark, which is a pretty, pretty fast uh, average. So, who's died the most? Uh, who has died the most has indeed been also that Engineer, but as well as that Slither. Slither picking up five deaths, sharing that with Engineers. So, they're not doing super hot, but at the same time, they're able to kill stuff, which is making all the difference. Engineer using his... Homecoming Stone almost gets hit by that arrow, but Glazius does indeed get hit by that arrow. Five seconds, he's going down to Nighthound, no problem. Two auto attacks is all he needed. Uh, the Engineer alt going down, it, down in the trees for some silly reason. Slither also using his, but got paid for there. It does look like Dr. Repulsor went out, but that Chariot misses everyone yet again. Uh, we have not really seen a really good Chariot or a Pitfall yet at some point or a rather some point or another. Uh, that tower just went down and down goes that engineer. No problem. Very uh, bad placement on fog there. He's kind of trapped in the trees and the tower did go down. They did pay for it with a Magmus and a Witch Slayer kill, but four for two. <coughs> wow, I apologize. I had to sneeze there. But a four for two exchange for, again, Clan Milk. Um, they're really keeping their, I mean, this early pushing tactic is really working very well for them this game because they're able to win these team fights. They're now pushing these towers, no problem. And even, I think, they took the tower lead now. Three towers are down for the Legion side. There's only two down for Hellborn. So they have the tower advantage. They have the, I have to assume at this point, just take a quick look. They do indeed have the level advantage and they have that kill advantage. Just look at the stats 5,000 experience. 3,000 gold. Clan Milk definitely playing a much stronger game this round. Now, of course, people are going to say, is that because of the new ringers? Well, you guys can debate that all you want. <laughs> Alright, um, so we have kills now shifted a little bit. Valkyrie has picked up a double tap, and she is up to 7 kills. And top assists of the game going to that Magmus Milk Fat. Magnus milk fat, milk fat Magnus. That kind of sounds catchy. Milk fat Magnus. Yep. Uh, so yeah, eleven assists on him and eleven assists again on this Hellbringer. Hellbringer has five kills, three deaths, eleven assists. Is level eleven. Uh, basically, just doing really well. The top level farmer, however, is indeed Gladiator. 
Gladiator is sitting at, you know, 621 experience a minute, and he's also in a lot of trouble now <laughs> because there's three heroes here, uh, four heroes here. They even put up a Ward of Revelation right there in order to try to catch him, 